Hello everyone, this is the second lecture which we are discussing about from the previous one and which we are continuing from the previous one. Uh, the DQM tools and techniques which we are discussing from the last uh, association through which uh, we have discussed about plan to check act cycle and then uh, performance appraisal. In plan to check act cycle, we can able to identify the process flow and the pro progress flow in a sequence, sequence interval of time in a uh, sequence manner through which we can able to execute the production process and also the manufacturing process related to the service sector we can able to attain in the exact quality what the customer's expectation this is the second lecture in which we are going to discuss about the 5s principle 5s principle is the most quality attainable progress through which we can able to attain the 100 percent quality without any drawback and without any loss of any industry or any company uh, for example, 5 SSA workplace organization technique composed of 5 primary phases that is say, uh, sort, set in order, shine, standardize and systemize through which we can able to attain the quality process in, in every sector, in every progress of a uh, manufacturing sector. First one is sort. Sort is nothing but the keep only necessary items in the workplace. If uh, a process is, if a production process is happening, if a machining process is happening, only the gauges and the only the product product oriented uh, document, only the product oriented uh, supporting document will need to be available in the workplace. Other than that, the maintenance equipment and the maintenance kit and other than the quality equipments should not be available at that workplace. While well, coming to set in order, arrange the item to per promote efficient workflow. Uh, through which the process can be able to capable of uh, if uh, performed in an accurate manner in which uh, the process will be in uh, arranged in which the product will be arranged in an order if the first operation is completed then second operation and second operation is completed and third operation it will be followed on likewise every process has to be followed in an order so if if you are planning to uh, place the product in an in a particular order we can able to provide the process in a sequential manner so set in order is the second s of the 5s principle third one is shine clear the work area so it can meet and to, it can meet and today uh, when when every process is working in, in every manufacturing sector, a dirt or a component through which the waste process and the raw material and uh, <coughs> excess of material will be available in every sector. So, if you are processly planned and cleaned a product in a frequent interval of time, so we can able to so we can able to have the shining sector and we can able to shine the workplace in a frequent interval of time. So this can be attained by using uh, shine process of the 5S principle. Then coming to the standardize. Standardize is nothing but if you are following in any order, if you are following in any particular uh, prioritized order, if you are cleaning the workplace in a frequent interval of time, this three com comes together in a common address which is said to be a standardize. If a single department of a shop floor, if a single department of your workshop is planning this three years before the any process then it will be set to be standardized if these progress of complete uh, followed by the complete plant in every manufacturing industry then it should it should be set as systemized so if you are ordering the product if you are ordering in a uh, ordering in a particular prioritization of the customer requirement if you are cleaning the work space in a sequence frequent interval of time in a sequential manner if you are following the system at every department of the manufacturing sector then we can be able to follow this as a system in the overall manufacturing company so this can be attained in a sequential manner in the frequent interval of time thank you while discussing about the tkm tools and technique we can be able to pertain a certain sector such as such as, uh, such as supplier partnership in supplier partnership uh, we can able to progress uh, three factor from the existing lecture we can able to understand this is nothing but partnering selection and rating uh, when while selecting the supplier we can able to follow every quality aspect every logistics aspects what they are planning and also if you are rating the supplier based on the delivery of delivery necessity and delivery flow and also we can able to process the 
லாஜிஸ்டிக்கல் டீம் அண்டு அந்த ஹியூமன் ரிசோர்ஸ் த்ரூ விச் வி கேன் ஏபிள் டு அட்டைன் தி சப்ளையர் அண்டு வென் இஃப் தீஸ் சப்ளையர் செலெக்ஷன் அண்ட் ரேட்டிங் இன் ஏ ஃப்ரீக்வெண்ட் இன்டர்வல் ஆட்டம் இன் ஏ சீக்வன்சியல் மேனர் வி கேன் ஏபிள் டு ஹேவ் த பார்ட்னரிங் கிரைட்டீரியா இன் தி ஃப்ரம் தட் சப்ளையர் ஸோ இட் வில் பி ஏபிள் டு இட் வில் பி சப்போர்ட் அண்ட் ஏ கேன் ஏபிள் டு அட்டைன் ப்ராசஸ் குவாலிட்டி ப்ராசஸ் காஸ்ட் டெலிவரி ப்ராசஸ் டெலிவரி ப்ராசஸ் சர்வீஸ் அண்ட் தி ப்ராசஸ் டெக்னிக்கல் கேப்பபிலிட்டி அண்ட் ஆல்சோ த கம்பெனி ஹிஸ்ட்ரி பேஸ்ட் ஆன் திஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தீஸ் ஃபேக்டர் த சப்ளையர் செலெக்ஷன் வில் பி ஃபாலோ ஃப்ரம் தி சப்ளையர் பார்ட்னரிங் ஒர்க் வி கேன் ஏபிள் டு அட்டைன் த குவாலிட்டி இன் எஃபெக்டிவ் மேனர் தீஸ் ஆர் தி மெயின் டூல் அண்ட் மெயின் டிக்யூம் டூல்ஸ் த்ரூ விச் வி கேன் ஏபிள் டு அட்டைன் தி ப்ராப்பர் quality and also the proper selection of suppliers thank you